To be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and tell me in that comments section if you could pick one weapon to be Seether infused, what would it be? Can we reach 4,000 likes? That'd be absolutely epic. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video, so let's get into it. Okay, so today I want to cover something I found pretty fucking epic and spotted yesterday, but forgot to mention it in a video I did covering the new ornaments coming with the Age of Triumph on March 28th. Now the exotic ornament I want to talk about, which will be clear to you guys judging by the title and the thumbnail, is the Lord of Wolves. Now this ornament is called the Perfected Predator. Looking at the icon, although a little hard to see, you can see those Seaver wires which normally mutate a weapon they're infused to. This in my opinion pretty much confirms the Lord of Wolves judging by the name and the actual icon that we will be getting a Seaver ornament for it, which is pretty fucking epic due to every weapon which has that Seaver mutated form, weapons such as the Chaos Dogma, the Genesis Chain, the Quantiplasm, the Sand and Fury, the Aether Nova and many more. We all know these Wrath of the Machine Red weapons are all reskins, but compare them to their usual look, the Seaver infused versions look a million times better. Now the Lord of Wolves was already an amazing looking weapon, but to add a Seaver ornament to it in my opinion will make it even better. Now the Lord of Wolves, the Dreg's Promise and the Queen Breaker's Bow are all fallen weapons, so it kind of makes sense that we are seeing a Seaver version of one of them. Me personally, I'd much prefer to see a Seaver infused Queen Breaker's Bow as it's a weapon I actually enjoy using, whereas the Lord of Wolves, I just cannot get used to it. But hey, it is what it is. So seeing that the Lord of Wolves is getting a Seaver version, this morning I took it upon myself to create a Seaver infused Lord of Wolves, which you guys can see on screen now. Now I am far from amazing with Photoshop, but I think this is half decent. I decided to spend a few hours creating this this morning, which overall I am happy with. What do you guys think? Now this is all just off the top of my head of what I believe it could look like come March 28th. Now on screen now for those curious, you will see a kind of slideshow of the creation of this Seaver infused Lord of Wolves. Now along with the Lord of Wolves, we are also getting new ornaments for the No Land Beyond, the Surus Regime, the Dragon's Breath, the Necrochasm and the Vex Mythal class. Now me personally, I cannot wait to see how a new Vex will look. I'm just hoping the weapon receives some kind of buff uh, before or along with the Age of Triumph because at the moment the weapon is just useless, it really is. This is a weapon that fell victim of Bungie's nerfing team. It has been nerfed into the ground compared to how it used to be. I just hope we see it return to glory. But guys, that is it for these ornaments. Which are you most looking forward to seeing? If you guys want to see me design more weapon skins or ornaments, let me know what you want to see. I may just do it for you guys. But guys, thanks for stopping by as always. Subscribe if you are new around here. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video. And I will catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand Get it right, left to die.